Every now and then you come across something truly special. Now, I know I've spent the last few weeks at the Eurobike show where we've seen some pretty beautiful bikes, but to get a bike which has been set up by someone who really knows what they're talking about, a man with massive experience. Now, the person we're talking about is Johnny Walker. Now, I asked you to race with Johnny downhill uh, a few decades ago. Johnny went on to become the world downhill champion in Masters. Uh, I only uh, managed to get a bronze medal, whereas Johnny really hit the top. He's also raced in the Paris Dakar many times. And also he's got a van which is running pretty sweet, whereas mine is on jacks on the driveway. But what we're looking at here today, guys, is a very, very special track rail. The only things original on this bike are the frame, the seat post, and the motor. So let's have a look at some of the major changes he's made to this 160 mil bike. Now this is an off-the-shelf 2021 Project One track rail, a size large. Now um, I think 150, 160 is a good sweet spot in terms of an all-round e-mountain bike. But as I mentioned, this bike is not off the shelf. It's all uh, custom parts in it. And I'm gonna give you guys a quick overview of the major changes he's made to the bike before talking to Johnny about the reasons why he's done them. Right, now let's start off at the front and work rearwards. So up front, we have got the Hope Fortis SC wheel. It's matched with the Saint brakes. I mean, why wouldn't you? Johnny will talk about that a little bit later. Um, Ice Tech rotors on there. Uh, the fork is 180 mil. Now, John thinks that actually this is a, a wolf in sheep's clothing of e-mountain bikes, and he thinks it's capable of so much more. Hence, he's put that 180 on there, but we'll talk about that a bit later. Um, gone for a 31.8 handlebar with a raster stem at 50 mil. Um, Brendog grips on there. You can see that he's moved actually the Keox display to the handlebar, which is quite interesting why he's done that. Moving uh, rearwards on the bike, actually before I do that, we've got an Asagai up front there, which is an XO casing, I do believe. Uh, obviously, John's got four sets of wheels, but um, that's, another, that's another bit of detail. Um, Olin's coil on there, as opposed to the standard air shock. We've got 150 mile, middle, sorry, 155 mil um, Hope cranks with a Hope chain ring. This is a really interesting part, is the fact that John's actually got 11 speed Shimano derailleur XT derailleur on there, matched to a 12 speed XT cassette. Now the cassette is 1046. Remember there's a 1152, I do believe, on the stock bike. Uh, on the rear, there is a Magic Mary in a softish compound, I do believe. Again, on the back is the, um, the Ice Tech rotor. Saint on the back as well, um, Fortis SC rim as well. I've just been pulled up by John. Now here is John actually, here is John. Here is John, here is <laughs> John he's, Walker. He's missing one of the major features <laughs> on the bike that I've changed, which is I've gone mullet from 29 to 20, 27 and a half and flip the chip. You can flip the chip on the Trek as they advertise in this year's 22 yeah, bike, yeah. The, which you've got, you can flip yeah. the chip, which gives you better steering and also, well, when you get down off the back, you don't buzz. But no buzz. What you guys need to understand as well, John, is the fact that um, the minor link here, I think this bike in stock form uh, runs, I think, a 339 mil bottom bracket in the low setting. Yes. That's the 29 inch wheel. Hence, yes. you've gone for the, the high setting, high setting. To, to do that. And I'm to, guessing that bottom bracket is going to be a really nice. It's nice, lovely, it? it's, it's, it's right in the ballpark where you want it, as well as the short cranks as well. Yeah. That, you know. Well, well uh, John, should we uh, just go through the bike from, yeah. from start to finish? Yeah. Um, let me just tell you a very interesting fact. Now, we just weighed this bike. Now, bear in mind, this bike is actually 160, 180, and it weighs in at less than 22 kilos. Now, we'll talk about the weight a little bit later. Uh, but John, let's start off up front. Uh, you mm -hmm. mentioned you've got four sets of wheels. What's your thinking on the Fortis SC wheels here? They're uh, aluminium, right? Yeah, if I want to run a harder wheel or a, a more downhill wheel, I'll use the Fortis 30, which is a slightly heavier, heavier rim. But these rims, the Enduro rim, will do everything apart from, say you want to enter Fort William or you want to do a really, really rocky, hard Italian or Spanish track, then go to the higher, 
uh, heavier rim. But for, for this country, for round here, the SC rim is an excellent rim and slightly lighter. Yeah. Let's talk about this bike first. Right, so this now, you've bike... you've gone 180. You've got a so 180. So I've gone 180. Yeah, 180. No, actually, that's so, probably linked to the bottom bracket height as well, isn't it? So that's yes. lifted the bike a bit it's more. Lifted it's lifted it. Yes, it's lifted it slightly. But when you ride the bike, I'm only running 50 pounds in the in the uh, forks, which you may say, and when you look on the list on the fork leg, it's miles to low, but uh, I assure you, it isn't. Yeah. I've perhaps, I, I bottomed it last Sunday when I hit a wall from a really steep descent and the wall stopped me. And, I, and that's the only time I've really bottomed it. And if you bottom it too much, you can put one token in anyway. At the moment, I'm running no tokens. So it makes it really nice, soft and supple. I bet. For the first, 20 mil and then when you take 20 mil off 180 what have you got you've yeah. got 160 anyway so you're riding in that position so you're happy with the balance of the bike the balance of the bike is fantastic yeah. uh, uh, you know the way i was taught to set bikes up is uh, the simple way you just hold the hold the handlebars with your front brake press down on your pedals if it goes down in unison then it's set i think we'll have a demo yeah of that we'll have a, a demo later. with that can you do that yeah. again john yeah yeah <laughs> just press down like that it's uh, set right let's go so, to uh let's go to the bar and stem the bar now, and stem no, 31.8 because the 35s yeah they're great they look beefy and everything but they're just too stiff you get buzz through your bars and you, your hands start getting a little bit of numbness in your hands so i've gone to a 20 mil riser and it's actually a 45 stem. And it's actually called a raster stem. And it's a raster stem, just like the colours, really. Yeah, yeah. Like, just like the colours. So um, uh, you've got quite a few spaces there, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, well, on the rail, on the knock block, normally on the rail, the spaces are castled out to give you a stop and a stop. Yeah, the knock block. Uh, the knock block, yeah, stop. Yeah. But what that also does is, when you're in tight trial, trial sections, you can't get full lock. Right. Not well, ideal. I think that's just an advisory thing because <laughs> I've gone for the knock block plus, yeah. which knock block plus. Yes, it's, oh, it, honestly, it, it knock blocks there, and then I can take it. Oh, that's a nice touch. To get, get, I mean, I know if you got full lock on like that, you would be really squirming. That's and a nice same touch. the other way. I can I can force it round to there, but it will just stop. Knock block, knock block plus. plus. It's well, one of my you better, own. Yeah. You better take a one of my own things. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. John, uh, what's interesting is the fact you move the kiosk. I move the kiosk handlebar because with the knock block plus, when the handlebar goes right round, yeah, right it's goes right it. round it's like gonna... that. This here catches the top of your kiosk and wipes it out. And I have unfortunately broke one, mm. and at 180 quid a time, yeah, yeah, I moved it. So I moved it to here yeah. on a uh, amount, well, which well, this is this is a proper pro bike check, well, isn't it? I think. I'm not, and <laughs> and also, uh, you keep your cables short and and in unison, so you can get them together. I hate cables that are all over the place, uh, and so I, I shorted me dropper cable, so it's same same as my rear brake cable. And as you see, my gear cable is, is short. It's not hanging about and banging about. Uh, moving on to the grips. Now, I've heard some bad things about oh, the, 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 the best, Brendan They're the death best grips, grips I've, I've had. This is my third pair. Right. Uh, because I put them on all, all my bikes. I haven't worn them out. It's yeah. just the third pair. They're so forgiving on the on the the, the palm piece there. And your hands and, are so soft, And then your hands, they? yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> Uh, you, 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 only had fi you only had 50 years of off-road riding. 50 years riding. of off-road riding, <laughs> yeah. And I use Saint Brakes because the... the I mean, the, how long has Saint Brakes been out? Oh, they've been out, but why change? I reckon Saint Brakes, Saint Brakes have been around 20 years. 20 years, have they changed them? Why mess about with something that's perfect? Right. And you just, you, right. you just fit them and forget them, Saint Brakes. Right, talking about things which are perfect and which maybe are not perfect, mm -hmm. now the battery. This is, a, this, is, this is part of the reason uh, yeah, that this the, bike the, has saved a bit of weight, Yes, right? the battery, uh, as, as people get a lot of rattle out of the battery, and so I've removed the battery lock and battery system. I've removed that. So that means you don't uh, use the key anymore? You don't use the key anymore. Uh, there's two bolts underneath here. You take them out, take the lock, lock system out, and I've fitted... Um, do you want me to what, show you these? Yeah, let's have a look at that. Right. This is going great, by the way. Right, Nick. Here we go. So I've fitted an aluminium plate to the battery and the two bolts that's in the frame go into the two holes. Uh, the rubber, the rubber is, is, you can basically, it's just, just 
you can put more rubber around if you want, or if it's rattle, every bike's slightly different on the, on the mounting. So as you bolt that in, take the uh, battery cover off and slide it on. So if someone wanted to do this to their track rail, yes. so how do they, do they, they follow this example, I guess, or yeah, get in touch well, with Johnny well, Walker, right? Or yeah. whack, as he's known. Yeah, yeah, you touch with me, and I've got an engineering friend who's made loads of these. Right, okay. And as you, as you mentioned, this is like a custom fit uh, for each, well, each track it, rail. You can just keep adding pieces of inner tube, depending on how, yeah. how much your battery's rattling, till it that, stops it rattling. That'll make a quiet track rail, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, it makes a quiet track rail. Okay. It, it doesn't rattle then. Now you have actually added to the weight, John, by including yes. the Olin's coil shock. I shock have, on the Olin coil shock. Thoughts behind that? Uh, this bike should be, and Trek need to take note, because it isn't a trail bike, it's, more, it's an enduro bike. They need to go 160 with the rear, which, which I've done with a slightly longer Olin's shock took it to 160 and 180 and it handles fantastic uh, again it's an olin's so, i know you're going to spend your money but you can take it off when you so sell I it guess put the standard on the get i guess the question here uh, for you folks is why would you have a trail bike when you can have an enduro bike an enduro maybe? bike well it's it, it's both isn't it yeah you, you take your shock off you put your shock back on yeah and you go trail riding put your put your lighter wheels in have a set of hunt lighter wheels put your lighter shock in put your lighter wheels in you've got a bike then that's just over 20 kilo 20 kilos yeah that you saw that at 21 wow i can with so, a with with that set of hunt wheels, Did which... Did look at the camera, John? Hunt, sorry, <laughs> hunt wheels, which are there. Uh, lighter, XTR cassette, I know, just for the lightness, if you really want to go light. I guess that is a trail, that's it, a trail yeah, wheel, isn't but it? It's a trail wheel, but I have actually used it on downhill stuff, and it's strong enough. They yeah. won't tell you, the, and they won't guarantee it that you, they're going to do an Enduro, because they do an Enduro yeah, wheel, yeah, and yeah, all that's yeah. slightly heavier. Yeah. But these wheels, really light, trail tyres, and you can get that down to just a little bit more than the Fuel X. Now, the Fuel XE. Well, I guess Fuel the, I guess the Fuel XE is, is yeah. 19 kilos. I guess that's yeah. that's the question people need to ask. I've not right? added, I've not actually had it on my weight on my scales. That's 19 kilo on their scales. Let's get on, in reality. Let's put it on some. Right. You know. Got a seat down. Oh my. Take my hand off it now. <laughs> <laughs> and what I'd say to Trek as well is... Oh, here we go. They should do a 430 battery, same as they do on the... Yeah. Um, EXE. EXE, the 430 battery, and then this would be as light as a... And you could have one in your backpack, one on your bike, why would you want to buy a lightweight one? Underpowered Bob, lightweight one. Bob's your uncle and wax yeah, your auntie. Yeah. Why would you want an underpowered one? Because everybody knows that. Have you actually finished? Yeah, it's finished. Have you, have you actually finished? the camera. Have you actually finished yet, John? Yeah, uh, Na no, 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 I have missed the... Nathan's hey, going to get look, coffee. I missed the, the, the... Right. You may say, why, how did he get this light? And, and what was my thinking behind it? Well, there's a guy at Ilkeston, I think Dave his name is, and he goes for marginal gains. Oh, Dave and Wilkerson. That's, <laughs> and that's, I guess you know you the Dave from Wilkerson. You mean Dave Brailsford. Dave Brailsford, marginal yeah. gains. Yeah. And that's the way I'm thinking a little bit on here. Yes, you can't chuck two kilo off in one go. You've got to go bits at a time, bits at a time, all in, yeah, it's that, all, that works. It is all in there. Even down to the aluminium bolts. Shall, we, shall we go into the talk about crank size next, please? Yes, right. right. I think I think we've got the message right, about yeah, lightweight. Okay. Yeah, but guys, please, um, <laughs> really interesting thoughts there uh, about about lightweight e-bikes. Want to know what you guys think? Involved in the comments down below. Uh, we're now going to move on to crank size, John. One fifty-five right. Hope cranks here, yeah? aluminium cranks. Aluminium. First of all, material. Your choice of material. Aluminium. Are they going to get a bashing? Aren't no, they? they're going to get a bashing. Carbon, great until they get a bashing. It, uh, they're made to go one way. A crank is. Like when a carbon crank gets a sideways bashing, real hard sideways bashing, you can break them. Yeah, you know. So length, and 155. Now and, I, and I the actually, rest of it. I actually spent quite a bit of time yeah, 155. Uh, on 
Miranda Cranks in yeah. Portugal back in April, it does make a difference. Makes a it? heck of a difference. Yeah. It makes a heck of a difference. It just when the shorter cranks give yeah. you more yeah. time on the crank. When you've got a technical climb, you, yes. can, you can you can anticipate things you can a bit anticipate more. Things. Whereas if you're on a long crank, you, once yeah. you're in there, you're in, aren't you? And the balance on the bike is better because your legs aren't as yeah. far apart. Oh, I like I like that. You know, are you going to be doing that legs... on, your, on your wedding night? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can you do that again? <laughs> your legs aren't that far <laughs> apart. You know, uh, you can only go to a point though, else you do feel like you're yeah, just exactly. pedaling like yeah. that. And and it doesn't work with guys with really long legs. Yeah, yeah. Because they okay. right. Talk about long legs. Power. Talk about long. No, no. Uh, Nick, if you can just focus in on uh, the low profileness of this. 11 speed it's XT an 11 derailleur. Speed derailleur. It's really flush, it's isn't it? It's really flush. The cable's flush. Uh, yeah. And so, it's you great. Can, so you can and run. It's got Hope little bearing run free wheels, yeah. which, which actually are free. Jewelry. Jewelry. That is. Yeah. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but John, no drag. No but, jo drag. but John, the important message here for people to understand mm. is not only the fact that it's low profile to avoid uh, rock strikes, it also runs a 12-speed cassette, right? It runs a 12-speed cassette. You can run 11-speed mech with a 12-speed cassette if you've got a 12-speed yeah, shifter. shifter. And what about your choice of gearing here? You've got a 1046. 1046. I'm surprised at that, actually. Now, it, with these motors, they're that nice, that powerful, I can get up virtually anything right with the 46 i mean you're 60 but you're 60 kilos though right um 90 kilos okay, right. <laughs> <laughs> thanks <laughs> <laughs> and i can well as you can see i don't use it that often anyway as you yeah. can see it's not used you know yeah but cadence is everything on these bikes is you've got to keep the cadence to about 60 to 80 mm -hmm. cadence to keep the motor in the sweep spot yeah you know to get so, up things so talking about the motor john big mm -hmm. fan of the bosch motor big fan of the bosch motor apart from they need to now progress slightly and go a little bit lighter and on this bike especially they need to direct mount it the got to stop using little aluminium plates to mount the motor into the frame because they're problematic. They squeak, they right. creak, the aluminium plates do. They've got to mount it directly to the motor. Uh, John, fantastic. I think, I think we've pretty much covered it all. I mean, mm -hmm. the seat dropper is... Uh... The seat dropper, again, is fitted to me. Right. Because Which is related to the frame size as well. The frame size next, as next. well. Right. Yeah. Now yeah. you're riding, this is a 2021 large. model track rail in a large. Yes. And you're, you're, how tall are you? 5'8", if I stand right. up really, now, I mean, you know? Al already, oh, five, a lot, seven, a lot, five, already a lot of people wouldn't ride a size large with nope. in your size. But, nope. but, it's, nope. it's, but it's got a good balance. It's, it, it's classed as a large, but yeah. actually, when you measure it, measure it and take the measurements of most other bikes, it's more or less ML. Yeah. It's an ML, really. So this is where we enter some darker territories. We've had a discussion about what about his next size track rail, because yes. it will be a track rail. It will be a track rail. Now, the new track rails are different sizing. The, the higher end bikes yeah. are, are larger yeah. sizing. Than to accommodate the battery, the 750 may, battery. Possibly. That's the only reason they changed yeah. just the triangle so, so, and the seat angle. So, John, the, the new size large... Is it, too big for me. It's too big for you, and you think that the new size medium is I've too small. I've sat on both. I've been to the shop. I've got both there in front of me. I've tried them both. I've looked at shorter stems, longer stems, moving seat back, moving that. Thanks so much for... Yeah, showing us around great. this bike, mm -hmm. I mean, I think it, it truly is a very special e-bike. Like I said earlier, I've been to Eurobike, I've been to loads of shows. It's not often you come across a bike which has actually been set up by a person with massive experience. John, um, can't wait to go riding. I'd yeah, like to try yeah, this go bike riding. out. Yeah, try it, yeah. Um, but, I'll, but, but again, your weight's slightly different to mine, so I'll tweak the suspension for you. There you go. Johnny Walker, uh, world downhill champion, Paris Dakar rider and the setter upper of an amazing yeah. e-mountain bike. Yeah. Cheers, yeah. John. Yeah, thank you.